Question number one says, the British gold sovereign coin is an alloy of gold and copper having a total mass of 7.988 grams and is 22 karat gold. A. Find the mass of the gold in the sovereign of find the mass of gold in the sovereign in kilograms using the fact that the number of carats equals 24 times the mass of gold divided by the total mass. B. Calculate the volumes of gold and copper respectively used to manufacture the coin. And C. Calculate the density of the British sovereign coin. So let's go ahead and write down what we have. We have the mass of the coin, so the, the coin's mass, the mass of the, of the total coin is equal to 7.988 grams. And we know that its purity, we'll just say its purity, is equal to 22 carats. And I'll put K-A-R. And it was, so what does it want? It wants the mass of gold. So it wants the mass of gold. So the mass of gold would be um, it would be the ratio of the the purity of the substance. So we know that we have 22 carats, and there's only 24 carats in a completely pure substance. So we can set up a ratio. The the problem actually gives us an equation that looks kind of like this. It says carats equal 24 times times the mass of gold over the ma the total mass. But that it doesn't tell you why that is. That, let me explain it really quickly and easily. So you have a purity of 22 out of 24 possible carats. And that's going to be equal to the amount of gold over the total thing being being measured. So what they've actually done is multiplied the 24 over this side to show you, um, uh, you know, to make an equation based on the carats of gold that you have. That's not necessary. So all we have to do is take 22 over 24, multiply it by the total mass, which is 7.988, and it should give us the mass of gold. And that mass, so, so the mass of gold is equal to 7.322. 33 and that's grams. So we want actually want this in kilograms. So we can say that the mass of gold is 0 0.0073223 and that's kilograms. Now part B actually wants the uh, the volume of gold. So we have the the mass of gold and now it wants the volume of gold. So how do we do that? Uh, pretty simply the the only thing that we have to do is realize the 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 formula for for density. So it's a it's a it looks to me like a Greek letter rho. Um, you may take it as a lowercase p, but it looks like a Greek letter rho, uh, which is the equivalent of an r. Uh, the density equals the mass over the volume. And so the mass over the volume. When we know the mass of gold. Uh, and on page 227 of the textbook, it gives us uh, the density of gold in a common density chart. So we can actually just solve for, for volume by, by mass over density equals volume. And then we can look up our density chart and find out what the density is. So here we have our density chart, and it gives us the density of gold, and the density of mer mercury, and I actually took this one just from a snapshot from the internet, but the sa basically the same chart is on your textbook, and so the the density of gold is uh, 1900 or 19,300 um, kilograms per meter cubed, and so we could put kg meters cubed right here, and we can divide that by the mass. And actually, I got that backwards. The, the mass is divided by the density. So the mass, we said, was 0 0.007322.3. And we can divide that by the density of uh, 19,300 um, kilograms per, meter, uh, per meters cubed. And our mass units in kilograms. So what we're going to have is kilograms... Uh, well, the, the kilograms are going to cancel out, and we're going to be left with cubic meters. When I punch that into my calculator, I get 
3, 9 times 10 to the negative 7th power, and that's in cubic meters. Now, in order to find the volume of copper, we actually have to find out how much copper was there. So the amount of copper, the, the mass of copper, is equal to the, the total mass, so the, the total mass minus the mass of gold. And so we said that the total mass was 0 0.007988, and the mass of gold was 0 0.007732. Two, two, three, and so we could subtract that and find the mass of the copper. So I get 0 0.0006657, or um, or you could put in 6.6657 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that's the same. And that's got to be set to the density of copper, which is 8,930 kilograms per cubic meter. And so the mass over the, or I'm sorry, the volume, the mass over the density is going to be equal to uh, 6.6657 times 10 to the negative fourth over um, 8,930. And the answer I get from my calculator is 7.45, uh, 7.4546 times 10 to the negative eighth. And the unit for that is cubic meters. And now the last thing it asks for is to calculate the density of the whole coin. And so we actually know the mass of the whole coin. It gives it in the question. It says it's 7.988 grams. But to find the density, it's mass over volume. So we have to add our two volumes together. So this volume plus uh, plus this volume. Actually, that's not a, a volume. Uh, it's, so it's it's the 7.4546 times 10 to the 8th plus the 3.7939 times 10 to the negative 7th. So when you add those together, you'll get 4.5394 times 10 to the negative seventh and so that is the the total volume so that's the volume in cubic meters of of the whole coin and so we got to take the mass time over the volume so 0 0.007988 kilograms divided by the 4.5394 times 10 to the negative seventh meters cubed is going to give us a density of 17,597 um, kilograms, kilograms per cubic meter.